Hey guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be super cleaning my engine bay with some super clean. Now, I never have personally used super clean to clean my engine bay, but I've heard great things about it. In fact, the back of the can says engines are one of the applications that it's really good at. And I'm just really excited to use this product because it is in an aerosol can and it's really hard to find cleaning products that are good but also easy to use. Now, while I hate to admit it, it has been about 7,000 miles since I last detailed or cleaned my engine bay. And if you guys are regulars on this channel, you'll know that we have put the truck through quite a few dusty, sandy off-road conditions. So it's definitely due for an engine bay cleaning. So I'm gonna try to make cleaning my engine bay a regular routine thing I do with my truck. But one of the big reasons I'm specifically doing this today is that tomorrow I'm installing a mod underneath the hood so I want my engine bay nice and clean for this new mod. If you have any guesses, leave me a comment down below. You'll have to wait for a later video on that. But for now, let's get into super cleaning my engine bay. So this is a before, and you may think it doesn't look that bad, but honestly, after we're done with this, it's going to look brand new. It's gonna look completely different. Right now, there's kind of a layer of dust and dirt kind of caked on the entire engine bay from all the desert driving we've done here in Southern California. And on top of that, this truck is my daily driver to work five days a week. So the engine bay accumulates a lot of dirt from that as well. Now, like I said before, the primary agent that we're gonna use to clean our engine bay is super clean, but I do have another product here as well as a couple other tools that I'm gonna be using. So I have some 303 aerospace protectant, and basically this is going to be for the detailing process. We're gonna use this to restore the black plastic. I also have a vacuum to vacuum off some of the dust before we use the super clean. I have a leaf blower and some microfiber towels. And then to further make it easier to make the dirt come off, I have just a regular paintbrush. This is just gonna agitate the surface, lift out that dirt so it's gonna be easy to vacuum it up. I'm also gonna be using a hose to spray off the super clean when we're done with it. So yes, we are gonna be using water in the engine bay, but these newer vehicles have a lot of plastic in their engine bay and have wiring harnesses that are pretty weatherproof. So while we definitely need to be careful and keep the water to a minimum, it'll be okay to use a little bit of water as long as we're not using a pressure washer. So that's why I'm using a hose. One of the first things that we're gonna do just to be safe because we are putting water in the engine bay and water is known to short a bunch of things is we're gonna take out the battery. So in my case for my 2019 Toyota Tacoma, I'm gonna need a 10 millimeter and 12 millimeter socket. Next, to be extra safe, I'm going to use some plastic Ziploc bags and actually close off the exposed metal connections. Next, I'm gonna make sure all of my reservoirs are actually capped off and closed so that water is super clean or 303 doesn't get inside the reservoirs. Another thing to check is your dipstick. And with that, all the prep work is done and we can actually get to cleaning the engine bay. Now I'm gonna take my vacuum and my brush and I'm going to brush off all the dust to agitate it and get it released to the surface and then use my vacuum to vacuum it all up. We're pretty much just trying to get as much dust or loose dirt off as possible. So this is what it looks like after kind of just vacuuming and agitating the dust and trying to take some off without putting any sort of super clean or anything on the engine bay. It's a little bit better than before, but there's just dust that's straight up caked on here that's really hard to take off with just a vacuum and just a brush. So that's exactly what super clean is great for. Next, we're gonna spray our super clean all throughout our engine bay. Thank you. 
Next, the instructions say to not allow it to dry on the surface, so we're gonna get our hose and rinse this off right now. So next up, I'm gonna go and manually hand dry everything with a microfiber towel since the leaf blower couldn't get everything. So we just finished using our super clean. This was with only one pass and I'm pretty impressed with the results. It was quick, easy, and definitely effective. So the last thing I'm gonna do is actually spray some 303 aerospace protectant to make the trim kind of pop more and come back to life and just regain its deep black color. So all we're gonna have to do is spray some on our black trim and then we're gonna just wipe it off with a clean microfiber cloth. So I'm really impressed with the results of Super Clean. This was my first time using it, but it was super easy to do. It came out great, especially with that 303 at the end. I highly recommend this. And one of the great things about Super Clean is you can basically find it anywhere. You can get it at Walmart, Lowe's, basically any big retail store or any auto store. And I'll leave a link to it in the description down below if you're interested in getting it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for another video where I install a mod underneath the hood. It's gonna be really exciting. That will be coming soon. If you want more content, feel free to follow me on my Instagram. I am at Chloe Kuo Taco. But other than that, I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.